So James here with you. You're very welcome to this um, video. I've called this one observations at the entrance of a beehive and we can gather so much information just by looking at the entrance and particularly now today this video is being made in early spring and we're going to look at this Connolly over here and I'm going to be looking for in particular the amount of pollen that's going in or what's the activity and before you even open a hive um, you can just as I say gather so much crucial information and no matter what time of year always spend a minute looking at the entrance up close and to see what's going on. So we'll go in now for a closer look over here now at the entrance and straight away I can see that the, the first thing I'm going to have to do is to take off the mouse guard so that's the first job and um, by doing that we'll, we'll just see what's going on as well. So just by looking here now already, um, things are going good here. This is 3.30 in the afternoon and lots of activity. Now we'll take off that mouse guard in a moment. So mouse guards are placed um, at the entrance of a hive, usually October and left in over the winter months just to stop mice going in and mice can do just lots of damage eating comb and their urine is just an awful put off to the bees so we normally leave the um, mouse guards in place until March or the start of April so it's time now this one comes off but I'm just going to go up now for a closer look and we'll just see and what's happening and particularly looking at the pollen that's going in as well at the moment So it's great to see such activity. Um, just watch the bees now with, with the pollen on their hind legs. And here today it's coming in two colours. What I would call orange colour is from what we call the furs bush, which are sometimes known as the gorse, which grows abundantly in the Irish countryside. And the other pollen then is, is yellow. And that comes from the willow tree and again it grows abundantly um, in, in the Irish countryside so so again it's just a very valuable source of pollen for our bees and um, the furs is out in flowers from February through to April and the willow then um, flowers the end of March through through April so the bees have plenty access and the pollen is being brought in and it's being fed to young bees um, and it's basically protein um, nature's best and a colony needs lots of pollen particularly in, in the spring months because there's so many young young brood to um, to bring through and to rear and um, it's fed to the to the larvae and it's fed to young bees and it's it's just a hugely important part of their diet. So you can see as well from this this um, Connolly, just they're very healthy, active, busy and the pollen again is a reminder that the the queen within this conley is active and laying
also I say to all beekeepers and especially beginner beekeepers, before you 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 um you do you before you open your conley for an inspection and before you take off the crown board, just stand in front of the, the, the hive entrance or maybe just a bit to the side just to give the bees um room to fly in and out. But just just go up close and I'm just standing slightly at an angle here. And you can tell a lot from the entrance as to what's going on. Notice that there are no drones whatsoever appearing or landing or taking off because it's too early for drones um, at the beginning of April. But if this video was done later in the month, um, you'd see drones taking off and landing. But within this Conley, there's no doubt drone brood. And drone brood, once the egg is laid, it emerges usually around 24 days after the egg is laid. So again, I'll just go up a little closer here now. And even just hearing the sounds of the bees, just coming and going and, and just watching them, it's actually very calming and relaxing. And I suppose too often as beekeepers, we, we're just so busy, we're, we're, we open the hives, we're in and out, and we don't ever spend maybe more time watching and, and listening to the bees, and, and just, I suppose you could say, enjoying their company, and especially on a day like today. So I'm just gonna pause the recording now for a brief moment. I'm just going to take off the um, the mouse guard and we'll have another look then. So I've just removed the blue mouse guard there and you can see there's quite a hole there and if, if, if you hadn't the mouse guard the mice would get in there no problem but it shouldn't it shouldn't be a problem now because there's, there's enough numbers to deal with the mice. Um, just going to go up now a little closer here and see what we can we can see. Just watching that bee there now, centre of your screen, just trying to get her in focus. She's got pot pollen on her legs and she's just fanning the entrance.
So as you can see, just from these very short observations at the entrance, this Conley is active, drawing in lots of pollen, it's healthy. As you can see, they're very gentle bees. They're not at all annoyed with me here with the karma just beside them. And I also encourage you as a beekeeper to also take time to observe your bees at the entrance. You will be well rewarded because it's actually very relaxing and, and um, something we should all be doing as beekeepers. But I'm very happy with this Conley.